Welcome. So today we're going to talk about Exactly and Salesforce integration. This is essentially taking orders that are closed in one or opportunities that are closed in one in Salesforce and putting that information into Exactly so you can send the right salespeople for what they sold for your company. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do this, of course, with Informatica Cloud. Now let me go ahead and bring this up. So here is Salesforce.com. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to simply go in and find an opportunity that we want to add. I picked this one called GenePoint SLA. Um, it has a certain order number. Um, it has the right information. It has a few products added. All right, so this is a good order to use. Um, over here in Exactly, this is my list of orders. I don't have the GenePoint in my list, but I will in just a minute. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. So let's go over here and let's first log into the Informatica Cloud. And what we can do is a single sign-on, uh, take us right into Informatica On Demand. So I have a nice six-step wizard that helps me walk through the process. Um, step one, of course, is where I can simply give it a name. And I'm going to insert those orders into exactly. Um, step two is where we're going to grab that information from Salesforce. So we're, of course, looking for closed one opportunities. Right, so I have uh, different source objects that I can add. For example, if I want to add opportunity, opportunity line item, all that's available right here based on the relationship already built in Salesforce, which is a pretty neat thing. Uh, now my target in this case is just going to be a, a results file, so if I have some kind of error code, um, I can get that right away and know what, what happened if there was a problem. Um, but most of the time you're not going to need that. Uh, let's go right to the field mapping. Now this is kind of neat because on the left side, these are my Salesforce um, objects, right? My opportunity, my product, my opportunity item, all those kind of things, right? So I can see them right from the list. Um, now what's over here on the right side, this is my custom function of my exactly orders. So I can do source to custom function, which is what exactly needs. Um, and then I can do custom function to target, um, which is the result of what happened if there was a problem. Right? So it's kind of your error codes. And it's always nice to have error checking to make sure that you have a robust integration in place. Um, so I have a few mappings uh, in place. For example, I need to look up the employee ID in exactly. Um, so I just came over here and I have a file where I take the owner ID in Salesforce and I match it up to the exactly user in my file. Um, and that's my output. So this is pretty neat uh, lookup functionality that you can use. It really makes it easy to find stuff. I did the same thing with some basic cooking information. Now I want to get my amount, um, so that's just a matter of drag and drop. Because on the left side, remember, of my Salesforce order objects. On the right side is my exactly orders. So let me go uh, and pick my opportunity, because that's where the amount is, and drag it over. Then, of course, uh, my name, I'll go ahead and make that the opportunity name um, that I can map over as well. Um, and this is what's going to go into Salesforce. So let's go ahead and uh, we can set this up on a schedule so that it runs all the time. Um, but in our case, we're just going to go ahead and run it right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the first thing I did was I set up a, a task flow so that I could actually do a login and then add orders. But here we've already logged in. So let's go ahead and add those orders and run this guy. And you'll see that uh, the activity monitor shows you the job in process and how it's working. All right, so our ad, our, our ad orders has uh, successfully completed, and now let's go into exactly, and let's refresh um, the period. Let me just pick another period because I'm not exactly expert, even though it's an awesome tool. All right, and there's my gene point, uh, so I can see the amount that I just did. If we go back into Salesforce, uh, back into the Sales Cloud. Right, remember we had. Uh, Gene point that we just added. Um, I can go on here and I can look at Gene Point. So I have the $2,200. Um, I have the basic information about Gene Point. I can come back over here. I have the order number, which was the uh, 546513. And then, of course, the amount. Um, and this is how integration with Exactly and Salesforce.com works through Informatica Cloud. Thank you very much.